Okay, in this video, I'd like to talk about beta decay. So, I'll basically tell you what it is. I'll show you the three different types of beta decay. There are formulas, which is essentially showing you what they are. And I'll go into the masses, or the, the kind of, the way to, um, to analyze these, okay? So, it'll be, pretty, it'll be pretty straightforward. However, it will be a pretty good grounding into beta decay. So, the first thing I'd like to do is define them, okay? So, when I'm talking about beta decay, I'm talking about particles being emitted from an atom. Alright, so particles could be, particles are something smaller than an atom and they're of high energy and as that, and for that reason they're, they, uh, they can damage skin, so we call them radiation. So when people talk about radiation what they're really talking about is high energy particles and sometimes they might be talking about gamma rays which are just high energy photons which is a particle as well. So basically a nucleus, a nucleus consists of protons and it consists of neutrons and the protons are positively charged, the neutrons are negative or are not charged, they're, they're, they're neutral and orbiting a nucleus we have electrons which are negatively charged and I spoke about in the fundamentals of nuclear physics a, a video which I would suggest you watch that we have, if you want, how you draw an, an element is you have the elements letter like for example carbon you might write C you write the atomic number in here the atomic number is the total number of nu neutrons plus protons, which are called nu nu nucleons. And the bottom left, you put down the Z number, which is the number of protons. And in the top right, you put the number of neutrons, the N number. And we know that A is equal to, uh, A is equal to Z plus N. Alright, so say carbon-12. Carbon-12 means that, they, that, that the atomic number is equal to 12. Alright, so... That's okay. That that's 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 something that's very important. And the next thing I'd like to do is tell you what beta decay is. And beta decay involves a proton becoming a neutron, or a neutron becoming a proton. So they can they can convert into each other. Okay, and that and that that process is called decay. So a, a proton decays to a neutron, or a neutron decays to a proton. And you might say, well, hold up a second. You might think of it as one going down a, la a, ladder, a, a level in a ladder. How can something decay up the ladder? And it's, 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 it's not really thought about in that way. It's basically uh, gaining energy or losing energy. And by gaining or losing energy, they can convert into these, they can convert basically states. So let's talk about the two main types of beta decay. And the first thing we need to do is describe the particle. And the particle is a beta particle. And when people are initially were studying radioactivity, they called the particles being emitted beta particles because they did not know what they were. And eventually they found out that they were electrons or the antiparticle of an electron which is a positron. So this is an electron and this here is a positron. Okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that much now, but don't worry about it. You should understand what an electron is. And a positron is is the something it's the exact same as an electron in terms of its 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 size, its weight, and all that sort of thing. And it, the amount of electric charge, the, however, it's got a, the opposite sign of its electric charge. But anyway, we found that the beta particles turn out to be electrons, and just for convention, we're still called they're still called beta particles. So beta minus is an electron, and a beta plus is a positron. So let's see the two conversion processes. In order to convert from a neutron to a proton to a proton, now. Let's kind of think about this uh, instinctively. If we're converting from a neutron to a proton, a neutron is, is not charged and a proton is positively charged. So as a result, we must be gaining a net positive charge. So the positive charge must be going up. All right, and if positive charge goes up, well, the negative charge goes down. It's very straightforward. So let's look at the conversion process. So it's called uh, a neutron going to a proton is called beta minus decay. And why is it called beta minus? I know I said the, the positive charge is going up, but what happens is we're talking about what a particle is emitted. And the particle emitted in order for the positive charge to go up is negative charge, which is a beta minus particle. All right, so a beta minus particle will look like this. So it will have an initial atom, or initial, we'll say, uh, element, or uh, excuse me, our initial atom, which is, we'll say like this, A, N, Z. And that becomes a new atom because A stays the same, it hasn't it hasn't lost any part. It hasn't lost a nucleon, but the positive charge is going up, 
and the negative, excuse me, the negative charge or the neutral charge is after going down, like that. And in order to do that, we had to admit a particle, and the particle we admitted was an electron. So in order for the electric charge to go down, the negative electric charge to go down, we must admit an electron. Now, for reasons which I don't think we really have, uh, there's no, any point in explaining, there's another particle emitted which is called an anti-electron neutrino. All right, so the, the line on top means it's an anti-particle. The V is, or it's, it's a new in actual fact, that means it's a neutrino. And I might do a video on, on neutrinos, but for the moment just accept that another particle, a really, really, really small particle is emitted. And I, and I believe in all scientists actually didn't know about the beta particle, or the neutrino, so they thought that this was the conversion process for a long time. So the beta plus process is involving a proton, not a proton, a proton becoming a neutron. It's going the other way. So if a proton is becoming a neutron, then the negative charge is going up and the positive charge is going down. So the positive charge goes down and the negative charge goes up. So it's similar to this, except this time it's positive charge being emitted. So we can say we start with our, our atom, like that. The atom becomes a new one. And this time the positive charge goes down. The neutron goes up, and we have the A staying the same. We emit this time a positron, because that's what we need to, to reduce the positive charge. And this time we emit an electron neutrino. So anti-electron, electron neutrino. All right? So that's, uh, that's pretty much how beta decay works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do another video on the, we'll say, the equations in terms of mass and all that sort of thing. So if you'd like to know more about the Q value or the energy emitted in beta decay, look at my next video, which, if I remember, I'll attach, uh, I'll put a link to at the bottom of this. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.